How's it going? How's it going? This is Adrian for FootageCrate.com, and today I'm going to take you through a quick little tour of this new fake hand-drawn drippy text template that we've got. Check it out. So straight out of the box, you can expect to get something like this. Your machine might default to a different font, but that's okay. You can use whatever font you want. So I think the best way to explain to you how this works is we're just going to make a completely different look out of it. So we can start by going into the composition that is called edit text or logo here. And we'll just type something else. And the thing that you type doesn't have to be true. The machine does not know. We'll just change the font to something else. There we go. But now look what happened. This font is more thin than the other one. So now our blobs make it kind of illegible. That's okay, because in the controls here, we have this control called large glob size. So we can just turn that down. Check this out. All right, that's looking a little better. We also have an option to change the smaller glob size as well, but I think it's looking fine for this example. We can change the amount though. I think I'm going to maybe tone it down a little bit. All right, there we go. Now we can also change the texture on this text by going into this comp called edit text pattern here. Open that up. And in this one, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can import a video or something if you want as well. It doesn't matter. So I think I'm going to make a new solid, like a bluish green color. Maybe make another one that's like more of a white, that's not as big. Just kind of make some spots. And as you can see, that is updated in our main composition. So now I think I want to change the color of this outline. So we can do that. We have this parameter here called text outline color. You can just change that and just pick whatever you want. And you can change the color of the shadow and the outline of the shadow as well. And we also have this slider here to change the outline thickness. You can make it pretty thick. I'm not really into that look, but you may be. If you make it thinner, you get kind of more sketchy, like pencil-y look. That's interesting. All right, and then we have the background. So there's this comp called Edit Background here. Again, you put whatever you want. Maybe I'll just make a new, uh, like an orange solid. And maybe just add like some dark stripes to it. Whatever. I don't know if this is going to look good. And again, you can animate this composition. You can import a video if you want. Whatever. Just do whatever you want. Put whatever you want in here. And it will update. And there we go. You can see everything's working like it's supposed to. Um, obviously, I didn't make the best decisions when it comes to colors and stuff, but I think I proved my point. I think I have shown you what you can do with this. Some other options we have that I didn't really touch on are this slider here to change the frame rate. So I have it set at 12 by default because that's a good like cartoony frame rate. But if you want it smoother, you can bring it up to 24 if you like, whatever you choose. And then this random seed slider, that's for the particles. This effect uses particular to work. And sometimes when you change the parameters in particular, the particles don't update. So if you notice that your particles don't look right or if they pop or anything, just change this random seed and that'll fix it for you. You can also change it if you, you just want to see a variation on the look. That's fine too. But anyway, I think that about concludes this uh, tour of the project file. So I hope you download it. I hope you play with it a little bit and I hope you find it useful.